Ladies and gentlemen, uh, good evening to you. Welcome to another episode of the Italian Pod. I'm your host, Menos Kine, and uh, as always, my co host from Mexico, we have Igor Ceres. Hola, everybody. And from England, Lord Ra. Hello, everybody. Ah, so, how. Uh, today is International Workers' Day. Uh, how did you spend it? It's a By doing so at all. Well, I'm going to spend it working. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I got tomorrow off. Three-day weekend. Like because... you. I'm probably well, going to start working very soon myself again. You know, the summer. And do you know why? Um, uh, this I had to tell you. I had to tell everyone. Just to let you understand. No, maybe, maybe not. Okay, so anyway, they should have... Basically, they always give people... Uh, like a six months contract. I should have started in April, but I'm going to start in May. So I'm going to be working uh, a month later than all the other guys in my same group, stuff like that, you know? Because of, let's say, this organization. I won't uh, say anything else. They kind of botched at least stuff, but that's really it. And the thing is, if I didn't call them to check, they would have, have, have even noticed. Like, hey, there's supposed to be another guy working here, I think. No? I know? No? No. Nothing like yeah, that. Yeah, probably, probably shouted at you for not turning up on time when they when you didn't know when you... <laughs> Wouldn't put it past them, really. Nah. Oh. Uh, that, hey. say, Italians, I would say, like, Italians can't organize themselves uh, out of... Uh, a what? Out of a bag. A wet paper bag. A yeah, wet, out wet of paper a paper bag. bag. <laughs> I, yeah. I, love, I, lo- I love your Italian people. I love your country. It's beautiful. I love your art. I love your language. I love your food. But you're not good at organizing things. Well, uh, I... You can't have everything. <laughs> well, I'm kind of good at organizing, but um, yeah, I don't really like most of the people who live in my country. Especially when I hear shit like the thing I told you about the little girl who, you know, got thrown off uh, a four-story window because, uh, yeah. I don't want to talk yeah. about that uh, right now because it really, it just makes me even angrier. Mm. Than what, and no. there's going to be plenty of rage-inducing stuff to talk about to the, tonight. Mm. <sighs> but, yeah, so do you want to start with something good or do you... Let's <laughs> say def- definition of good. Yeah, uh, where do you want to start? Le- okay, let's uh, talk about it. Basically, I'm the only one here. Let's talk about a bit about the civil war first because I'm the only one here who hasn't seen it yet because it comes well, out on Wednesday, right? Well, it was a bit more bukkake yeah. than I was expecting. And then, yeah. then uh... oh, now I just realized what was going went wrong. I saw Captain Merkin, Civil Whore. <laughs> <laughs> Bother. That explains all the titties and anal. <laughs> oh, I, I wondered why there was a lot of dirty old men watching it, that one. It was Murka, not Merkin. Get it right, Ra. Uh-oh. Oh, my bad. Oh, well, never mind. Well, at, at least... <laughs> it's uh, like Spider-Man was good with the shooting his white sticky fluid everywhere, but... He Ra, wasn't from his wrist, the, the I first, bet. The first, the, the first good uh, big tell should have been not enough burgers and, and freedom fries. <laughs> freedom. But there's, but there's, there's plenty of American flag bikinis. What a, you know, it could have, you know, it was one of them things. Uh, and Spider Man, it, it was his excellent wrist action for his. Uh, <laughs> 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 but no, okay. uh, no spoilers on Captain America uh, until people have, it's been out for a couple of weeks and people have had a chance, good, good chance to see it. But I will say this so far, it's been the best uh, comic book movie of the year. Admittedly, we've only had three big ones so Even far. Even better than Deadpool? Uh, as movies go, yes. Uh, Deadpool is a lot of fun, no denying that. And, you know, I, I, I saw Deadpool twice. I I, I did like Deadpool. Same here. But Cap- uh, Captain America Civil War was what Batman versus Superman wanted to be. Oh, oh definitely. It, it wanted to be it so badly. And I did see a thing, or I heard a thing on the radio yesterday. Well, Try to define that. Like, uh, what exactly? What What do you mean by okay. that? What did... I, I commented. I commented this to Ron off, 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 off the grid a little bit, saying, you know what, the uh, the Superman versus Batman fight in uh, Batman versus Superman, we got that in 
spades and even more so better design, better, it, it more intelligently and better dialogue in Cat versus Tony. Hmm. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, okay. The, 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 the reasons for um, wanting to be, you know, for, for having a fight uh, made sense. That there was more set up for conflict. I mean, well, I have to be careful because I don't want to spoil anything because I'm yeah, not that evil. Okay. It's okay. Just, just say that. But, the, but, the, but the you can. Under, but the trailers, the trailers give away the reason for wanting to fight, pretty much. Yeah. It's yeah. Back. That, that, so, so that it's back here. Yeah. The, the, so, so there's no spoilers there. But the, so the, the reason for fighting is kind of it, 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 it gets sense. explained in the last act, and then there's two. Um, scenes of for the credits. Uh, one, uh, one in, well, one, in, one, one in, immediately during the credits, and uh, and a stinger all the way to the end. Yes, a, yes, uh, that, that's a good, that, that's, that's a good way to word it because I, I very nearly mentioned what one of them was, and they're like, yeah, that's kind of a spoiler on that one. Yeah. And I'd rather let's just um, okay, let's just um, okay. So we people should go see it. That's what you're saying. Oh. Oh yeah, he's twice. <laughs> All right. Well, that out of the way, I guess we should start with the first subject of the um, of the week because this week it's like the internet got dumber than usual. Because uh, let's let's say honest, we see a lot of dumb shit on the internet uh, most uh, a lot most of the time. But oh, this... some of us are even making it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but this week they went full stupid. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes, full yeah. Tumblr, full Macintosh, yeah, full yeah. Shut Up Wensley, um, possibly in touch of full Linehan as well. Um, full Linehan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, full Triglypuff. We can add that now. <laughs> that, that, well, I think that might count as full Tumblr. That, that we uh, shouldn't mock the afflicted, it's not nice. <laughs> Doesn't mean it's not funny. Yeah. Doesn't mean it won't bring a smile, but you know, there are other ways to other ways to bring a smile to the face rather than laughing at people who have poor diet and exercise habits. <laughs> All right. Now, okay. So I used, to first... ha- I used to have a ba- I used to have bad diet and exercise habits. I still have bad diet and exercise habits, and yeah, I appre- And you know what? Sometimes we need to be told our place. <laughs> Pretty much. And speaking of people telling, trying to tell other people their pleases, so, um, the first of the subject that I selected for the we selected for today, it's uh, about uh, an artist and Yugos and being accused of being a pedophile because of her mm. art. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Because we're, of we're getting into something art? heavy, heavy already. Her art because of. Her art? Her art, indeed. It's your about... female, not 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 hair, not share, not whatever made up um pronoun. Personal pronoun. Mm-hmm. Her. Female. Okay. All right. Uh, about... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think uh, uh... continue. I was gonna have a snarky comment, but that can wait. Um... Yeah, so because we we haven't even probably explained what the hell we're talking about yet. So let's let's keep the snarky comments for after I finish a sentence. <laughs> <Maybe>. <laughs> okay. We're talking about the artist named Cucurullo. She is an artist from Spain. I interviewed her um, last year. I even got a commission out of her for a for a thing I'm writing. Anyway, she uh, full disclosure. She uh, basically got nominated for a category in the Yugo Awards, the Yugos, uh, as a uh, uh, best fan artist stuff. So, uh, Ra, do you want to explain what the Yugos are? Uh, the Hugos are uh, an awards for science fiction and fantasy. I believe they're named after Hugo Gernsback, uh, as referenced in um, Mass Effect 2. Um, uh, previous winners of the Hugo Awards include Frank Herbert for the Dune uh, novel, um, and others that escape me. But you know they're they're uh, they're quite big, and that's for science fiction and fantasy sort of thing. Um, 
So, yes. So being nominated for one is kind of a big deal. You know, th yeah. There are plenty of other literary prizes, but those tend to look down upon the science fiction and fantasy genres. Yeah. Um, but no. yes, so be, being nominated for one, it's quite a big deal for, for anybody. I mean, our artists, whether it be, be writers or traditional yeah. artists... Even if it's fan yeah. artists, it's still a big deal. Now, oh, yeah. uh, uh, now the Yugos, though, have kind of fell down the crapper lately, especially with last year, <laughs> uh, right? Oh, yes. Uh, Eagle, want to explain what happened last year with the with the Yugos and the puppies, to be more precise? Oh god, where do I start? <laughs> from the beginning, <laughs> from the beginning. Uh, trying to remember. Honestly, I blacked out there for a second. It's like, <laughs> uh, uh, why? <laughs> why you? I'm sorry. <laughs> No, here's the thing. The, the thing is that Hugo Awards, like Ross said, yeah, you can't compare them to like the Oscars or the Grammys to just, or it's, it's it, it, and yeah, it's not a Nobel Prize in literature, or whatever. But this is an, the the Hugos are an award where you, it's a lot of the fans recognizing new talent or some older talent that has gone without. In. Yeah. So in basically, um, and so, but it's still kind of a big deal, even if it's, if it's not official. So, uh, mm. what the hell happened in recent years? Oh, well, last year we had a combination of puppies, uh, sad and rabid. Uh, a lot of people were f unhappy that some ar artists or some authors were chosen for their political views. Now, you can disagree with anyone on their political views, that's perfectly fine, that's your right as a human being, and, you know, that's, nice. uh, that's the way it should be. But you shouldn't be trying to put push political agendas. Um, that's yeah. one of the... You know, uh, these are... Uh, I was trying to think... Because a, a lot, lot of them think, oh, um... Uh, oh, we're new futures where things are horrible and it's because of this and, and such. Oh, for example, like The Handmaid's Tale, um, which is, is quite a quite a stark and depressing story. Uh, and then, you know, yeah, things like... Um, I'll try these. Things, uh, well, people try to put, often be known to push agendas and people go for diversity for the sake of diversity. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, basically, uh, in recent years, uh, they started pushing people out of the, of the awards who weren't conforming to a particular uh, kind of uh, uh, ideology, be it political, social, or whatever, right? Or even, uh, basically, uh, the, the works that didn't have, like, at least uh, one of these kind of characters, one of that kind of character, and stuff like that. Yeah, and um, you know, just, 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 just for the sake of diversity, doesn't make anything good. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. what the hell happened uh, in the in the last year with the sad puppies, the rabid puppies? There was a pushback, right? Oh yeah, you know, up to a certain point, uh, our, our our good and beloved uh, <clears throat> professor of floppy wieners and uh, and violence <laughs> across the board. Mr. George R. R. Martin, he actually he spoke about the, the, some of this controversy because you know what? Yeah, yeah it it the the Hugos are a good uh, location to express some of the media, another uh, outlet for the media for for uh, like I said, a lot of fan creations are there, and so and a lot of fantasy. But like you said, you know what? If you're not so much politicizing but pushing an agenda, that shows a slant that it's affecting society in, uh, at large. Yeah. And basically, the Sad yeah. Puppies was a campaign to basically officially push back. Basically, this bunch of people came out and said, look, we're, go we're going to officially try and, you know, vote in mass. People, they are... A they are not a part of your clique, they don't support your political agenda, but another agenda, because we don't want to be discriminating. And basically, it was a whole mess. And for some reason, the said puppies got associated with Gamergate. 
Well, uh, Gamma Gate has pushed against um, the the, the soccerous uh, agenda. It has been doing so because they don't like things um, being forced upon us. And as I say, a lot of people, if it's good, it'll stand on its own merits regardless of its content. You know, yeah. But the, the more you force something, shoot hold something in, the more the easily noticeable it is. Um, yeah. Uh, to all this, all this preamble to uh, basically explain that uh, the said, uh, basically that uh, most people, most of the detractors uh, uh, associate the said puppies and GamerGate, and they overlap them. And Kukuruyo is an artist that, among her many works, does a comic that is called the GamerGate Life. Uh, she's a com. It's a little comic, uh, not regular updated, uh, that uh, basically parodies uh, stuff that happens in, uh, you know, all sorts of medias, on in the internet, comics, stuff like that. And so they associate her with Gamergate. And when, basically, when she got nominated, when someone nominated her for the fan artist category in the Yugos, people lost their shit. Oh, I did. Yeah, Mm -hmm. they did. Uh, so basically, what's the latest? Uh, what's the latest? Uh, basically, uh, they call their like uh, everything, but the most genius and uh, the most uh, basically, the you don't do this kind of shit, especially with such a faulty reasoning. Okay, basically, they accuse Kukuruyo of being a pedophile or or to basically to draw child porn because. Uh, because of, of a drawing of uh, the character Miss Marvel from uh, Marvel Comics, that's the that's uh, that's really it. That's the argument they're making. Because it's a drawing of the new Miss Marvel that is supposed to be a better feminist icon than uh, Lady Thor. Yeah, most ego- most importantly because she's written as a character first and as uh, anything else second. And uh, mm-hmm. basically, it's an upskirt. It's a non safe work pick, so we can link it in the chat. Sorry, guys. And um, the, it's it's really stupid. Basically, said, hey, if you want to be nominated, if you want to stay there, blah 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 blah, you should erase this drawing, uh, take it out of, uh, and uh, yeah, that's the go. That's really the accusation they're throwing their way, and it kind of sickens me because seriously. Uh- yeah, go around. Yeah. Go ahead. I was going to say, Kukurio, um, as uh, I apologize for mispronouncing my name, uh-huh. has uh, put something on the website uh, responding to it. I'm going to link into the chat. However, uh, can you the read link a few short it... sentences? Something like that? Uh, uh, it seems that like predictably social justice warriors are butthurt about my Hugo Awards nomination and as they try to find anything to attack me, they've targeted this drawing accusing me of doing child pornography or of pedophilia because apparently the character it must be 16 in one of its versions or something. I don't even know, but that's beyond the point. Uh, they just want me to remove the drawing. Uh, since I'm the same person who doesn't go to Tumblr, my first short, concise reaction about these claims and petition is, fuck you, I'm not removing shit. I'm oh, not going to yeah. censor myself <laughs> because you got offended. <laughs> and then it, you know, it, I haven't had a chance. I only, I only scan through it. Um, I'm going to post a link in the chat but it does contain the offending image yes. that is not safe for work. So, so I will just say, say non safe for work uh, on the left of the link. And yep. yeah, on top of fuck you, the reasoning mm. doesn't really make any sense. Basically, uh, these are drawing of Miss Marvel that right now she should be like 18. I haven't been following the comics, but. When she started, when the comic started, when the she first appeared in 2013, she was 16. We're now mm-hmm. in 2016. Even by com- with comic book uh, time, up, um, she, she should be like 18 now. Something like that. But even so, er, their, basically, their argument is that this is up, uh, like uh, this child porn, basically, according to them. Because uh, it features uh, someone that is 16, which is uh, okay. be- below the age of uh, consent in a lot of American states. 
it's well, uh, you're not now, able to vote. You're not. You've not reached the age of majority at the age of sixteen. Of this, you are not an adult. Now, Go not ahead. being an adult and being a child are not the same thing. Yeah. Um, plus, can't be child pornography if it's drawing. Yeah, um, mm-hmm. there is. That. They're certainly not of a fictional character. Um, because otherwise, fuck me, you know, you have to rock a ball of Japan. (laughs) And, you know, you can't... Speaking of Japan, (laughs) speaking of Japan, uh, within the last six months, there was a big push in the West to tell Japan, hey, why don't you curtail all your child porn and all that? And and, and, and we talked about this uh, in in a previous podcast. And what was Japan's answer? Guys, the woman, seriously. The woman of Japan. They answer. The, the women artists of Japan says, number one, no. Number, <laughs> number two, two, stop stop making us stop working. This is actually making us money. Number three, three. and most important, is <clears throat> it's a gosh darn cartoon. Yeah. It's and, not real. Yeah. Yeah. You, Get you, you over can, it. Yeah. You can't... You, you can't infringe on the rights of a, a fictitious character. Stop complaining about drawings and actually do something about real problems, like yeah. real child pornography. And, oh, yeah, the UN, the same UN that had child pornography on its computer network. The oh. same UN that covers up the sex crimes of its peacekeepers. Uh-oh. The Physician, guys, the guys, the guys that, went Saudi myself. Arabia on their Security Council. Let's remember. Oh, no, 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 no. It's the Council of hu- the Human Rights Council. The same right, people right, are right, going right. to put an atheist blogger. They're going to execute him. Oh, for fuck's sake, United Nations. This is why America thinks you're a joke. This is why the whole world <laughs> laughs at you. Yeah, pretty much. And then there is the fact, okay, basically, she's 16. And you see, because of she, because of the age, dudes... Like, newsflash. Pedophile doesn't mean liking people below the age of consent. Because the age of consent... First, the age of consent changes from from nation to nation. Even from state to state. There are states in the United States where 16 is legal, I think. That, but it's surely legal in Spain for a 16-year-old to have sex with whatever the hell she wants. But the thing is, pedophile means... Being attracted exclusively to prebusescent people, to people who haven't gone through puberty yet. That's what a pedophile is. You yeah, that's can... the kind of thing Neuberg likes. What? <laughs> Boom, uh, oh, mic drop. Oh, yeah. Neuberg. Yeah, or uh, <laughs> Sarah Le- Lehman? Like that? No, Lea, Lea Dunham? Is, is she the girl? The girl? The woman oh, yeah, she's the one who put rocks up her sister's vagina. Yeah, yeah. and put that uh, uh, in her book. Uh, and everyone yeah. is like, uh, huh, okay. What? The, is there a prescription for stuff like that? What the fuck, America? Why is it always the sock just people? Cause, uh, because what are the people... <laughs> oh, go ahead, uh, Eagle. Sorry. Yeah. Because they have their own agenda to push. Yeah. But why is it always the... the... The, the left leaning that are pushing for such things. There's, I can understand the reluctance of the political right. Uh, that's the right wing, not those who are politically right. You know, correct, right, right and right wing, not right and correct. Um, yeah. Pushed had pushed back against homosexuality. That they could see it as a slippery slope. Now that's quite a fallacy, mm-hmm. um, but. Change happens gradually, and it gets slowly eroded. Now, in the UK, and uh, the age of consent for homosexuals is 18. For heterosexuals, it's 16. Mm-hmm. They, they did want to equalise it, but there was some resistance. Uh, the, then, the last time it was up for debate was from the then Conservative John Major government, and he said, no, I don't think it should be that, because we have to protect the young people the old think of the children excuse but i can look we have had countless accusations and um evidence and hearings of historical child sex abuse no and now this includes people from fucking uh, literally children no uh 10 8 10 year olds to people not uh, people below the age of consent Mm -hmm. so you can see how 
people, oh, uh, oh, I quite like this person. No, not quite the age of consent, but I'll groom them so they're ready when they do reach the age of consent. I can, you know, at 16, you're not quite sure of things. You are easy prey for a predator, you know, which is fair enough. At 18, you've got a bit more sense about you. Well, traditionally you did. Nowadays, you need um, safe spaces and fucking Play-Doh and puppies and all yeah, sorts of bullshit. There, there, are, there are high schoolers so that they have more sense of self than most adults uh, uh, nowadays. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, I can, I can, I can understand why there was pushback. And in the 1980s, there was a group called the Paedophile Information Exchange, yeah. who had links to our left-wing Labour Party. Yeah. The thing apparently, is, the thing is with left- it's always the left. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's the left because um, I'm going to go uh, on a tangent. I think that it's because um, basically, uh, I. This this what happens at least uh, with my experience in my country. Uh, basically, uh, the right to try to get more votes by stealing, the, let's say, stealing those from other uh, from voters of other parties. The left uh, tries to g- try and get more categories to get votes from. So, in a twisted, uh, kind of perverted kind of way. I get, I mean, getting more people to vote, getting more people interested in politics, that's great. But there are some categories you shouldn't appeal to. And those include... Uh, do I really oh, have to offenders. say that you shouldn't appeal to pedophiles as a political party? Do I really have to say that? Yes, you oh. do. Seems yes, like you I do. Because it, that's uh, happening. Uh, the so problem is that's happening worldwide. It's not just happening in Italy. It's happening in Mexico. It's happening in America. The the thing is, it's becoming less about politics, and it's becoming a huge and giant and annoying pain in the ass popularity contest. And yes, I'm talking about you, Donald Trump. Yeah, that's... Uh, yeah. You know, I seen, uh, I've seen a lot of, uh, on Tuesday... Uh, a, a movie. It's called uh, Guess Who's Back in, uh, in English. <laughs> Basically, oh yes, uh, you saw that. Uh, I know. Uh, I've not seen it, but I know. I know the. I'm aware the of the story. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I saw it, and it's one of the best movies ever. Basically, the premise is uh, Hitler comes back in 2014. Basically, tried to tie through time instead of dying, and uh, shit happens. Problem is. Uh, it, you laugh, but then I came out of the movie theater like, uh, oh my fucking god! What, like uh, the, the basically the lesson of the movie. I don't want to spoiler shit because it's a very good movie and I want you to see it. But the thing is, the lesson you come out from uh, with from it is uh, there are the conditions for that kind of shit to happen again, and there are people that act uh, the same. Maybe they don't say... They, they, they all also say the same things. They have different names. They come from different parts of the world. But there are always these kind of people. And there are the... You know, there is a, the, the, the premise for one of those to get into power again. All over Europe, all over the world. Just because they say things that are largely, you know, uh, shared. Like... Uh, Work and green and stuff like that, and they do help this and help that, family and stuff. Because those are all things that uh, that you can't not agree. But then you have to look at the rest of it. That's what is happening with Donald Trump. That's what's happening in Austria with that guy from the extreme right. That's what is happening with Marine Le Pen. These are all guys that uh, they uh, basically the people who vote for them only look. At the things that are sh- that they can share because they universally true. The, there are things that you can not not agree with, and they kind of yeah. willingly miss uh, the rest of the the rest of what they say. That's what has, that's what allowed Hitler to come into power in the thirties. Mm-hmm. Divide and conquer yeah. politically, pretty much. And and like I said, you know what? It's happening worldwide. It's if it's if you're not starving your people and then 
coming in as the great savior because you give them a couple of pounds of fee, uh, of food, some electronics, and some cash to buy your votes. And you give You're them enemies. Straight. You give them you, enemies you, to hate. You make them enemies of your uh, of whoever's running against you by talking shit about them, but, but, or by using honeyed words to pretty much say, "Hey, vote for me," because that other guy is not going to bring us back to the good old days. Yeah, you you got to watch out for your um, nostalgia and the good old days, because for some people, the good old days were like the 1970s. The 1970s were not the good old days, certainly not in Britain. No, um, no. The, 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 the food was people... shit. Uh, sorry, the food was shit. Um, it there was rampant is. sexism, racism. <laughs> it, it was shitter than it is now. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, they say the food was even shitter than it is now, and there was like three day working weeks. There was power power cuts, strikes, um, rampant sexism and racism on the television. I mean, legitimate thing, legitimate um, races are like blackface sort of thing. Um, there may have been a, um, a political campaign. I think it was from the seventies, um, and I'm going to quote it now: "If you want a nigger for a neighbour, vote Labour." That was an approved campaign slogan. Like, fuck me. The 70s were not a good time. Um, no, not really. Yeah, you know, we, we had the rise of football, who we get in um, We had punk. Uh, well, you know, punk perhaps worked for some people. Um, it yeah, wasn't that it, great, it, it, There was a lot of a lot of sex and abuse of children going on. The 70s were not a good time. Yeah, ne- or no ne- <laughs> ne- on, the, on top of the, the children, yeah, they discovered that a lot of your politicians were, uh, you know, fit. Fiddling with uh, Phillies, uh, to use a bronist uh, kind of expression. Oh. Yeah. Oh. It's Philly fiddling. Sorry. What? <laughs> but yeah, uh, also not, let's not forget what you did to poor Alan Turing because he was gay. So returning, yeah. To, yeah. So, returning to the subject at hand, this kind of mm. shit, stop accusing Kukuruyo of, of that. Stop because it's only because she was nominated. She ain't even won shit yet, but they're accusing her of that kind of. It, it just boggles uh, yeah. my man. Boggles well, my a lot man. of them, the SJW types, a lot of it is projection. I mean, you <laughs> may have noticed. I mean, Phil Sander for himself. Yeah, um, which is 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 the main accuser here. That's he's the main accuser, and he does not look like someone I would leave my children with. Why is it so many of them? I mean, he's got the the, the beard. He, he practically screams euphoria. Allow me to get my uh, my fedora. Oh no, no, not that one. That's the trilby. Allow me to show you my sword, what lady, my lady. He, he, he just screams that. Now I know I'm not the most wholesome looking gentleman you'll ever meet. Uh, uh, but you know, I don't go around you know, throwing stones in my glass house too often. Uh, you know, <laughs> plus I masturbate in the basement, so you know. Um, okay, <laughs> we don't we need to too much know information. That. Too, too much information. information. Well, let's, People let's... in glass houses should masturbate in the basement. And and and, <laughs> and your two, please. And your two. Let's move on, please. And that sentence without any more information, please. Uh, uh, yeah. But, oh, it's like, there's so many of them. Um, uh, Hannibal the Victor um, has a. Um, a charge for some sexual crime. Um, there was the guy who was modding Anita Sarkeesian's Twitch stream. Um, oh, he, nice. uh, he, he's on the sex offenders register. Oh, uh, uh, Nyberg. Uh, it's like, for fuck's sake, what is it? There's the SAWs. Why are there so, so much projection? You know, IMAX levels of projection. Yeah, also, I have to say, why do most of them look un- completely and totally unfuckable? I've got no idea. Okay. I, sh- I shouldn't complain. It's been over a year, so, you know. Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> you, look, you look like Brian Cranston on your best days. You can't complain. Okay. <laughs> Let's move on to the second subject uh, today. This time, we're moving from, uh, from books. We're moving to comic books. And most specifically... We're moving to a comic book artist, which is uh, right now, I think, is the main artist for uh, uh, 
Totally Awesome Hulk, uh, the Frank Cho run, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah I think he's the main yeah. artist for that. But I do like his artwork. His artwork is very good. And yeah, on his uh, website, apesandbabes.com. Apes and um, I'll, yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll say I'll give him a... Uh, I'll, I'll say I'll, we'll give him a pimp, uh, and you know, he, he, you know, he's got a sense of humour which I appreciate, and yeah. he's got drawing talent. I, I can barely draw blood, so you know, I, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I, 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 I shouldn't complain about uh, artistic talent and such. Yeah. Um, but yes, yeah, so he, he's often he's been known for drawing sexy poses. Yeah, uh, and, and he draws them well. Oh, he draws them very well. Yeah, very well. So, and also, one thing is, one thing is about him, he is he knows how to troll. unrepentant in he a knows, good way. He very yeah. unrepentant. He knows how to troll because this this is the first time they like this is the first time Frank Shaw is coming to the SJW spotlight. The first time oh. was when and here I had to be proud of something for once. Uh, there is the as artist that you may have heard of him. It's called Milo Manara. He's uh, maybe uh, the most famous erotic artist in the entire world, you know. And basically, Marvel commissioned him to make a cover, an alternate cover for their Wonder Woman comic. The pose mm. was basically the same pose. That Spider-Man has been drawn in over and over and over again over the years. But uh, they do it for Spider-Woman. Sexism! Animals! This bullshit! So they had to remove the cover. What did Frank Shaw do? Oh, he, he drew he drew another one. And he may have drawn... Um, oh, he, he, he drew another thing and had Gwen Stacy in the background screaming... Oh! Rage. Yeah. He also did Wonder <laughs> Woman, um, uh, Harley Quinn. Oh yes. And, uh, and what no, else? He, Anyone else who was drawn in that pose? Spider <laughs> Gwen. Who? Spider Gwen. Oh yes, the Spider Gwen. Wonder, yeah. Wonder yeah. Woman. Yes, yeah, so Spider Gwen has been uh, like uh, it's too oh, bad uh, because bro? It's, okay, we'll get into Spider-Woman later. But uh, yeah, so that was uh, a thing. And now, basically, he's been commissioned to do a cover for a Street Fighter Legend, for the Street Fighter Legends comic, which is published by who, Igor? Uh, Udon Comics. Udon Comics. And basically, the what's the cover like, Igor? Uh, basically, it's a cami. Doing the sp the, the Spider Woman. <laughs> <laughs> Do the Spider Woman. <laughs> and um, so basically, and that was uh, e basically <laughs> almost a year later, almost a year after that first controversy. So this was on purpose. This he, he knew people would get angry at this. This is Eminem kind of trolling. This Eminem levels of trolling. He drew mm -hmm. that pose because he knew people would get angry about it. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, yeah. Frank Cho, he also did an alternate, a variant cover for uh, Star Wars Darth Vader. And guess who else also is doing the <laughs> Darth Vader's <laughs> also doing it. What? The what? <laughs> oh, the, the one with Slave Leia? The, the one with Slave Leia? No. Vader's doing the pose. No, <laughs> Dude, I didn't Take know the link that. I, put there. I didn't know oh. that. Check the check the link I put on there. Oh yes, I see it. Marvelous. <laughs> that is fantastic. What the hell is Frank Cho doing? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he's having a good time, and he's making people laugh, and no doubt some people fap. But you know the. He's, he's having a good time, and we're all enjoying ourselves. Not wrong with that. <laughs> yeah, and the, the thing... Okay, so, but... Uh, I want to talk about uh, Pascali. I want to go deeper here. Because uh, it's not only about um, the fact that he... The, basically, it's about who reacted to this. Basically, who was calling him, uh, you know, a hack, uh, crazy, and a sexist, uh, and that comic books uh, can't do this kind of shit because they can grow, stuff like that. Two people in particular, two people in particular, 
two web comic artists, authors. Who are they? Uh, Scott Kurtz of PVP, uh, PVP Online, uh, and Jeff Jacks other... from Jeff Jacks uh, from uh, questionable, uh, content. 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 questionable content. Questionable yeah. content. And... Old hand stab. Oh, he can fuck off. <laughs> Who? The, oh, the, the um, Jeff Jacks. Apparently, um, uh, he was. Oh, I used to read questionable content, and it was, and I moved away from web comics for some reason. Can't remember, maybe because I forgot all about them because I was distracted by something shiny. Who knows? Yeah, uh, I used to read both comics. And uh, I got away from both comics for the same reason. And he's telling, I got away from questionable content when basically when he stopped, basically when Martin, which is the main character, self insert or whatever, Mm. got with uh, basically with the red trans chick. I swear to God. I have never seen something so awkward. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. That, that I read like uh, the, the the panel when they, like, you know, uh, okay. First, uh, the they they it it was a natural. It was an unnatural progression of character for Martin, and it was a natural progression into the two of them becoming a couple. And uh, the it was a, it was the most awkward way I ever seen two people get to the dirty things. Uh, Stuff like that. It was really awkward. And oh, I mean, I, I say it was good when uh, Pint Size was doing random things like role playing as comic book nerds. Yeah, there's a role playing as larpers. You know, <laughs> oh no, have you trolled someone? Oh, it's failed. Oh, I have to make a saving log. Um, that was good, and oh, that, that was, it was good artwork. But the reason why you could refer to him as hand stuff, apparently, uh-huh. story goes, and I'm recording this probably third hand. Um, he drew somebody, you know, there, there was a plus-size model, shall we say, once the cast had expanded beyond everybody who I'd recognised. Uh-huh. And um, and she was out at the beach in a bikini, and apparently she wasn't fat enough for some of the audience. And he's like, well, clearly, you know, he stabbed uh... himself in the hand. So, you know, it's like, uh, what? You know, because you, there's no pleasing these people. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter what you try. Yeah, and PvP Online, uh, I started, uh, I, I stopped, uh, I stopped reading PvP Online when, uh, basically, when he started wanting to try and uh, draw plot. Let's remember, basically, PvP Online was like, uh, mm. um, basically, it was a, it was a, you know, a funny, uh, there were strips about uh, video games uh, and stuff like that. Mm. Then the guy started to try and uh, they, they, he wanted to try and uh, he wanted to write plot. Serious plot, relationships, stuff like that. It did not go well. And then he, he always had a very big, uh, basically, he had a very bad habit of always drawing. Uh, basically, he put his critics uh, or the, his stories uh, into the into his comics and represent them as a fat, uh, you know, ponytail wearing, uh, beardy, fat nerds, and stuff like that. So, aka, he, a- aka, he was, <clears throat> per, uh, he was like I said, he was just putting his uh, detractors on full blast in his yeah. comic. Yeah. Because why? Because they don't understand me. They're just neck beards. Yeah, and I, I see. Remember I'm, so, the last I'm sorry, but yeah. I'm sorry, but that's not how an artist deals with that. Yeah, I see. Remember the very last panel I read of its uh, of PPO line. Basically, there was you know the main characters. They were having a. That's what I mean by plot. Basically, they were having a, a water soaker fight in the middle of a forest, stuff like that, and. Uh, Basically, then comes out this parody of an enraged critic fan or whatever that says that uh, basically he, he he lays out a lot of shit that didn't make sense. But uh, you know, this guy was uh, ugly and uh, you know fat and whatever. But the things he was saying about uh, the criticism or what was happening made sense. But then. How did the comic end with everyone turning on the guy and squirting him to death? And it was like, 
okay no i don't want to read that i'm sorry bye that's that's the, the uh, that's stuck like that panel stuck in my mind forever because dude that's that didn't go have the same effect that you wanted it to have because you know just didn't and what's even stranger because this guy uh, scott kurtz uh, right his name mm. but yeah, yeah. He criticized, uh, uh, you know, uh, Cho because he says that his stuff is keeping comic books back. But uh, Scott Kurtz wrote a book. And in his book, he said that uh, he has, uh, like, a giant version of a drawing of Frank Cho, of a nude jade, which is a Mortal Kombat character, on his wall, on his office wall. Yeah. Is he... <laughs> You don't get to complain about that sort of thing, uh, sexualized imagery, if you've got something like that on, on your wall. I mean, it, you, know, I, you see me, I, I've got a picture of a stormtrooper above my TV. Um, it's a marvelous picture from the wonderfully named Tokyo Sex Whale. Um, mm. But if I, if, if I say I had a, uh, a Rule 63 stormtrooper, a sexy stormtrooper in... You know, slutty armor that you know, fancy genre seems to give us and i know it's like oh you can't have sexualized images or things like that and no i'd be a massive hypocrite but um oh for fuck's sake you you you, you, you weren't happy with it fair enough but you know what don't put a picture of it on your wall and then complain about it later for sjw points because it's gonna backfire on you have you not been paying attention yeah and then oh. it's a- uh, they probably have been paying it, it's to... Yeah, let me let me one comment. It, yeah. You know, it's getting to a point where, you, and you know what, I I'm one of the most farthest removed from religion and all that, and it's starting to come to a point where I need to quote the Bibles, going like, "Hey, who, those without without sin cast the first stone," and and now people are still casting stones even when they're, they're pretty much sins, so. into, exactly. They're full of sins, full of them. <laughs> Then they're throwing stones and mud and saying, Look, they're covered in mud, they're awful. Ignore the mud on my hands. (laughs) It's the fucking hypocrites, all of them. Yeah, pretty much. And um, you know, it's it's really weird. And also, okay, if if you want to go and be really mean, like do you can I be really mean? Dudes, it's your podcast. Okay, dudes, have you seen the way he draws compared to what you do? You do web comics. I enjoy web comics. There are some great web comics, which are some of the best reads I ever had. But um, yeah. like uh, Eight Bit Eater, uh, that was a fucking good oh. web comic. <laughs> and then the artist yeah. went and did the real comics because uh, he also knew how to draw. You don't mm-hmm. have, like, half of the talent this guy does. And com- seeing how you react to sexy imagery, you don't have half of the adult point, you know, mindset. Because adults can deal with sexiness and sex in an adult way. Seems most people that are criticizing Frank Shaw can't. They can't. Yeah. Yeah, um, doesn't Frank Cho does it professionally without needing a Patreon? Yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. There, there's your difference in uh, in, in doing it. Look, I, I'm not knocking Patreon, and you know, the creation of art is difficult enough. I mean, I've you know, it's not easy to do, do writing and the editing. It's time consuming, but Frank Cho is good enough. He's got a paying gig doing it. You need people to supplement your income. Ain't right, uh, son. Yeah. So, you know. But uh, uh, to be fair, the the same also the artists for Squirrel Girl can do it uh, with an income. But uh, that's the thing. She a diversity not, hire. She's not the, the 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 art you have to aspire to. Frank Shaw is the art you have to aspire to. Oh. Not Squirrel Girl. Oh yeah, Girl. definitely. Frank Shaw. Now, have okay. you seen Frank Cho's older stuff, like uh, like Liberty Meadows, Jungle Girl, uh, his his stint in Savage Red Sonia? It's like 
Yeah, you know what, and, and you know what, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna requote that phrase I put on the uh, 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 I put on the chat. It's like Francho, the last champion of the straight man's boner. <laughs> but but if it's not so much because it's hypersexual, it's because it's attractive. It's because it's actually it looks good. You can appreciate it not just not just because of TNA, but actually the characters, the faces look good. The coloring looks good. The dimensions look good. Yeah, sure. Is it, are they sexy? Well, yeah, because he wants to draw beautiful women. Yeah, they also draw the uh, beautiful man. I mean, sexy man. I don't, wouldn't call the Hulk beautiful, but uh, well, you know no, those specs. Handsome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, the, the, the Hulk's hardly been hit by the ugly stick, so you know. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Oh no! Wait! Oh, that's a, oh, oh! I don't know because um, sexy men is p- male uh, power fantasy. Sexy women is objectification. Isn't that how it works? <laughs> yeah, that's stuff. how it works. That's... Then, um, and, yeah, and then uh, the and it's it, you just can't you just can't get these people happy because even like with Wonder Woman now with uh, with Gal Gadot, the first thing a lot of people do say they still say. She has no shoulders, like she doesn't look. It's not that she's not sexy, she's sexy, but she doesn't look like an Amazon. And people were still accused of being sexists. What the fuck? Like, you, you know, you, it's like she doesn't look like an Amazon. What's an Amazon supposed to look like? Rest in peace, Joni Lauer, aka China. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Rest in peace, indeed. Uh, you just. Uh, strong so shoulders, uh, strong physique, not just uh, just because she's pretty and slim. No, 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 no. It's Amazon power, strength. Hello, you're not gonna be really that strong if you have small shoulders. You have to build them up with part of the muscles there. I don't know. This really, um, this really, I mean, this nuts, really. Oh, it's it's bloody. It's frustrating. It yeah, it's kind it, of it is. And the, 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 they will complain about the stuff, and then when you criticise them, they'll claim you're harassing, and then they'll get a spike in donations, which maybe come from other people getting money from donations on Patreon, and some kind of incestuous circle jerk. Where you know, <laughs> Patreon <laughs> Patreon's quite happy because of every donation that goes through Patreon, Patreon get a cut of it. Right yep. for the fees, and as it should be, you know, it's not their yep. job to provide that service for free. So, as far as they're concerned, they don't give a shit who get who pays who. Uh, you know, as long as they get their cut, that's how it works. Pretty much, uh, no, you like it, no standards or nothing, really. Well, hard work is ableist and racist. <laughs> um, Melissa Harry, uh, Harris Perry. Um, it, do you know there are people uh, that actually make, uh, you know, doctors uh, disable them? Yeah, I saw that on uh, Saigon, one of Saigon's This Week in Stupid. It's like, yeah. fuck me. Uh, life's hard enough as it is. It, 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 part of this, I apologize, this is probably something of a rant and a tangent. I apologize for those who get bored of this such thing. <laughs> Yeah, if you don't like it, you have to comment on it and tell me you don't like it. Otherwise, I'll keep going on random tangents and rants. <laughs> um, uh, so, the, the idea of the um, victim mentality and, and such as it, it if, if you put these uh, obstacles up, then if I succeed, if I succeed because of these obstacles. But if you put the, uh, these obstacles up and if I fail, then it's not my fault I failed. There are so many obstacles in my way. So, as far as they're concerned, they can't lose. And then adding, uh, you know, so, uh, oh, well, that's fair enough. But, you know, they're not fair, it doesn't do your self esteem any good. Constantly labeling yourself a victim. Uh, yeah, but they, just, they just don't, um, they don't, they just don't care. As long as, uh, basically, this is the, the way they found to just, uh, you know, cruise on life, uh, keep on being like this, but. Uh, Static things they just they they don't live they survive that's yeah. that's what they do and but and they survive while trying to make life as miserable as possible for a lot of people. everybody else 
Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I, I, I survived this Twitter PTSD. Oh, that's not yeah, PTSD. That's... No. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah. <laughs> it, it is yeah, not. It is not. It, it is... And we've talked about this uh, ad nauseum, both uh, online, offline, and during drinking. Yeah. That is not PTSD. Don't... No. You can't get PTSD. PTSD is having a true and honest situ- uh, situ- real-life situation that pretty literally, and pardon my not French, fucked you up. Yeah. And you go to, also, you go to you... a war, yeah. you go to a war, you see an explosion, you, uh, you see I'm some... sorry, but you get, you get raped, you, it's a, it really a situation that puts you in, yeah, puts depends. your mind in. Yeah, it yeah. also depends on the it's you know on the person. A little shit, a little child can get PTSD by being left alone in the fucking woods. That can fuck him up because he's a little kid. I refuse to believe that a grown woman is get, gets PTSD from insults on fucking Twitter. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but insults will get me triggered. Uh, so triggered. Yeah, it's, oh, it's, yeah, and, and, it's kind of bullshit. And they, and they see these trigger things aren't actually the thing. Um, they're, they're not even the correct term. I think the correct term is stressor. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's the, it's a dangerous thing. A little knowledge is a dangerous thing. It's something I've known at work. Um, somebody who's not as technical as the people around him, which is fair enough, you don't have to be the most technical person. You, you don't have to know everything about everything to be the boss. Just have to have people who know about that particular thing yeah. around you, so they can give you the correct advice. So you can go, "This is the direction we're moving in." Yeah, exactly. And and uh, and they hear one thing and they get one thing in their head, and then y- you can't convince them otherwise. And no, because they'll lose face. You know, um, uh, it's like a little bit of knowledge. Oh, I heard about this, and then it gets distorted. Uh, and then they get distorted further when somebody else hears it. You know, the old game of telephone or Chinese whispers in our politically incorrect past. Uh, you know, uh, Chinese whispers kind of make sense because Chinese is a tonal language and if you're on the phone, your quality varies. So you may misunderstand what they're saying. But you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, so, so people hear something and then it, just, it gets distorted. It, it, it's not good. And it's like, oh, did people, all, all people go, oh, I did my research. Um, I looked on Wikipedia. I mean, for <laughs> fuck's sake. Wikipedia is is only as good as its editors. It, it's its free for a reason. are not that good. Let's, uh, let, let's say that they're very, very partial. Very partial. Oh, Oh, part uh, yeah, partisan. Yeah, uh, oh, it's the thing earlier um, this week, and a uh, bit of a rant. And again, apologies for the uh, yeah, uh, the quite, tangent. Yeah. Never um, uh, the um, in we've got a, elections for the mayor of London next week. Uh, well, the, 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 this coming week, um, and somebody said something that was a bit wrong. Um, you know the old. Um, <sighs> The Godwin's Law, and it's like, oh, Hitler's been mentioned. Oh, dear. Um, oh, my God. Now, the thing is, like, Hitler was a Zionist. Now, of, of all the... <laughs> yeah, of <laughs> all the things you can say about Hitler, and you can say anything you like because, A, he's dead, B, he's a horrible per- he was a horrible person. Um, but, yeah, um, you do not... Uh, uh, wanting to exterminate the Jews is not Zionist. Um, no, no, no. I think we can all agree on that, regardless yeah, of whether you... uh, no. and, uh, the and really? uh, and there was a discussion um, because there was uh, an agreement uh, to relocate some of the Jews out of Germany into Palestine, um, and that was what the Zionists wanted, sort of, because they wanted a homeland for the Jews. Yeah, you know, the thing spe- it was Madagascar, and then they realized that would cost too much, and started gassing them. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and so you know, it, it's kind of not good. Kind um, of. <clears throat> well, well, and <laughs> <laughs> uh, and um, someone um, actually said to a respected historian, um, Simon Sharma, the historian, oh, no. did a documentary. Series called the history, uh, sorry, a history of the Jews, uh, 
And he says, you should read the Wikipedia article. You're telling He's me like, that an historian <laughs> said to read a Wikipedia article? No, no, no. Someone said to the historian, oh. read a Wikipedia article. The, oh, you know, yeah. the did he bitch slap them with a, with a book or something? Please tell me that happened. Oh, you would have done that if you'd been in the same room. I mean, the same Wikipedia that allowed uh, the link in the chat thing. Not safe for work because of rude words. What they did to Thierry Henry's um, uh, Wikipedia page after the playoffs for the 2010 uh, World Cup. Um, oh. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. So like, you, you see that? It's like uh, also, <laughs> also, wasn't that the same Wikipedia that edited uh, uh, Gawker to current owner? <laughs> oh, Hogan. Hogan. Sorry, exactly. I want to read this. I want to read this. Sorry, it, it's an answer for work here. Okay, Thierry Lecant Harry is a French <laughs> Kant footballer who plays for Spanish La Liga club Barcelona and the Canting French national team, <laughs> predominantly as a Kant. <laughs> Harry was born a Kant, <laughs> remains a Kant. Every third son, word is a suburb of Paris, where he played for a array of local sides as a Kant and showed great <laughs> promise as a Kant. <laughs> and so on. Every fourth word, every fifth word. <laughs> uh, it's brilliant. It was an Arsenal that Armory made his name as a cunt. Despite initially st- struggling in the Premier League, he merged as Arsenal's top gun for almost every season of his tenure there. And a long time mentor and coach, Arsenal Wenger. And he became a prolific cunt and Arsenal's all time leading cunt <laughs> with 236 goals in all competitions. Oh my god. I believe this was. Um... Revised by a uh, someone from the Republic of Ireland after the handball thing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yes, I can understand why. I mean, okay. Was, and and that's not the only bit of uh, wiki feedling I've encountered. Uh, okay, we we need to. I think we need to make an episode about this shit <laughs> because this is way too funny. <laughs> okay. Uh, third, uh, third subject of the day. <laughs> it's uh, uh, some other cans. Uh, they are they've been counting uh, of uh, uh, at people for doing something for the community of one of the most below the morps. Uh, morps, sorry, <laughs> in history. <laughs> yeah, I'm still, I'm still. Laughing, They're right. Sorry. They're right. Morpiger. Morpigers. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, Eagle, you take, you take this one, Eagle. Yeah, because I'm still laughing, sorry. <laughs> Can you explain what the fuck I'm trying to talk about here? Well, for a while now, uh, a lot of players of uh, good old uh, World of Warcraft, a.k.a. WoW, uh-huh. uh, they've, been, they've, been, they've been trying to play a private, uh, on private servers because they got tired of the recent expansions, and they just don't like how some of that stuff works. So the the private servers were pretty much original WoW, aka vanilla WoW, the first expansions or the the very as as released, but we're adding in the new races and some of the classes, but not the whole quest lines or stuff like that, because the you know what as uh, uh, I used to play Final Fantasy XI for eight years and uh, I finally got off Final Fantasy fourteen and I might be falling back in. Sometimes. Uh, the direction that the designers and developers take the game isn't exactly what the fans want or what the the hardcore fans enjoy. Yeah, I get it. You want to get more people in, but sometimes you just want vanilla. You don't want the sprinkles. You don't want the chocolate sauce. <laughs> yeah. And in this case, for uh, for a vanilla wow. Okay, Blizzard saw the in the situation and decided to call in some um, some people that have been uh, pretty famous on the Twitter sphere, uh-huh. aka one of our one of our favorite uh, follow uh, pe- people I follow there on uh, Twitter, uh, Grums. Yeah. Oh yes, uh, Mark Kern. Yes. Yeah. W- mm-hmm. Let's remind people, Mark Kern actually worked uh, as a programmer, a lead programmer on the original vanilla version of WoW. Let's not forget that. Yeah. yeah. 
So they they started to close down all those uh, those private servers because well it's not Blizzard so yeah they, they they have the right to do that and and Blizzard says you know what let's bring in some of these older devs or some of the people that were doing the private servers to actually think about setting up a uh, like a server with uh, vanilla WoW yeah and a lot of the fans were happy about it and then some people started bitching yeah. Okay, there are, I think we, we there are have different nice kind of bitchers here. Because it's not all it's not only okay, let's go in order. There are the people calling them sellouts. Him and uh, Nostal basically the Nostal begins who was the the owner of the nostalgia Nostalrius server, stuff like that. Yeah. N- Nostalrius, is that the name? That's the that's the server name, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, by the way, Grams just uh, retweeted uh, the tweet for the segment we're talking about here. Uh, so, <laughs> hi, Grams, uh, if you're hearing. So, okay. Yes. So, one part of the people call them sellouts because, of course, if Blizzard makes uh, the vanilla servers, uh, the, you're going to have to subscribe to WoW again and pay them a monthly fee. But it's... Uh, fucking uh, obvious because uh, uh, free servers are good and all but uh, have you seen the lines on those things oh yeah huge the thing is in in this case and uh, i actually got to play with a few friends on private servers i'm not going to say the games we start uh-huh. playing them because the content on some, uh, on the newer expansions it's it, it's either it's either the community that makes us quit, or the content in the game that really doesn't fulfill what we want. Okay. Maybe it's the, the newer content that uh, that nerfed all the, the fun stuff we had, or may, or maybe it's just you know what I just like the old stuff more than the new stuff. And that happened to me when I played uh, Final Fantasy XI uh, up until Abyss uh, yeah Abyssia. Which was yeah. uh, another battle expansion there for Final Fantasy XI before okay. the Cap seventy five was released. Uh-huh. A lot of people were yeah they were kind of hardcore and and, and mid core, but you had to develop a lot of a lot of more sk- a lot more skills uh, a stronger skill set, invest time into it to actually enjoy bo- both enjoy the game and feel the payback when you uh, felled a notorious monster when you was part of a great raid. So uh, a lot of people kind of might feel the same way, saying, you know what, it's a lot easier, but it, this is not the way I like it. I like it a little, I like it a little bit more harder. I want like to ch- like actually earn it. You like the challenge. Exactly. That's the yeah. right. But By the way, I want to ask, uh, what do you mean, basically, you were, the community made you quit? In some um, cases, in some cases, in some cases, it depends on the game. Sometimes the community may be a lot more hardcore than uh, than than your level is. Uh, nowadays, I work a lot more than I used to. My hours change. I work grave. Uh, I'm gonna be starting in graveyard shift, so I'm not gonna be. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to have time to play the game. But in uh, on other sides, it's like you know what. Some community teams or some guilds are so hardcore that uh, oh, you need to be available so certain time frames because we're going to be doing raids on this uh, on these times and that's when the monster the the, the world monster pop oh, or I appears. See. So it's like and, it's like specific yeah. grinding for questing or for certain uh, monster killing because it's an MMO. Mm. But on the other side, it's you know what. When I played uh, Ragnarok online, uh, uh, part of it was grind, 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 get catch, buy the item. Because back then we still we didn't have pay to win. <laughs> <laughs> no, you Good didn't. Times. We didn't. Good times. And okay, so it was um, basically okay. So we have a part that are bitching because it's not going to be free. But I think it's not going to be free. But if they put on vanilla servers again, Blizzard does. That those vanilla servers are going to be able to be enjoyed by a lot more people than just uh, the few thousand that can get on, on a private server at any given time. And then there is the other parts who are actually people who are playing the you know the WoW versions right now and are bitching that 
Why, exactly? Like, okay, so you like the new expansions, you like the new version of WoW, you like the new content, okay. Some people don't like it, they want to play, at, at, at most, they want to play up to Burning Crusade. Why do, why are you getting angry about that possibility? Like, why? Stop liking what I don't like. Um, they, uh, they, they've misun- misunderstood the phrase. Uh, if mama ain't happy, no one's happy. And they versus instead of uh, if mother's not happy, you're not happy. If these motherfuckers are not happy, <laughs> no one should be happy. Um, these people, people can't let other people enjoy things. That you know. It's all right to not like everything, but you know, allow people to have some fun in life. Um, is, is it because they? Th- well, is it because they think it's going to take away from existing WoW servers? I mean, well, you've got to pay for it. Well, yeah, um, bandwidth is the new gold. If you, you know, bandwidth costs money, you know, how how else do you want to do this? Uh, you know, You've seen how it is for free. I mean, I mean, fucking hell, yeah, queues of a thousand plus people sometimes. Well, you know, it, that ain't, that's no good. I come home from work, think, oh, I'll have a bit of Warcraft, World of Warcraft now. Marvellous, I'll log on. What, I've got to wait five hours before I can get a slot? Fuck that noise. <laughs> I ain't got time for that shit. I mean, who has I mean, in this crazy world? And and uh, speaking speaking of experience, I, I tried to play uh, Blade and Soul... Uh, Korean MMO. Guess what the uh, how many people or how 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 long you have to wait until to get into the game just to play it for a little while. On release week, you could do half an hour uh, a, a, a half an hour queue to log in to just create your character and play the first quests. Yeah. And how do you, do you know how they resolve part of that? No. Oh. How. Pay to pay, pay to have your account go, go gold because the game's free. Uh, it's a free fuck. download, or you can pay the sixty dollars to be a platinum account and uh, be be in front of the queue always. Fuck those people. Yeah, well, it's a monetization yeah, system. It's, a, there. it's incredible. It's no longer pay to win. It's like pay to log. That's pay to play. Pay to log. It's pay to play, but not but not in the classic sense. It's like yeah. if you don't have enough servers, just say so. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, j- th- that's why I say the pay to log because it's not exactly pay to play. <laughs> it's pay to log. It's it's he's got the, wow, like uh, just wow. O- okay, I mean. And this is weird because uh, do you remember when Dragon Ball Xenoverse came out? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, there like uh, there were problems uh, with uh, the stability because there were a lot of people on the servers but you didn't get uh, you know well, I don't know. Just uh, this this crazy. Uh, well, Returning it's to... a, but it's yeah. to say it reminds me of um uh the SimCity palaver. Um uh... the, uh can't log on there's not enough servers uh diablo 3 fiasco i mean yeah. well, we've seen this before uh you know people oh yeah you've always got to be online oh you can't connect i mean for fuck's sake do yeah. these people not also oh. sim city single player game why the heck do i need to get logged on on the fucking server um <sighs> That was because a weird DRM situation that they really dropped the ball on. Yeah, I, I understand you've got to protect your um, uh, your intellectual property and your copyrights and your investment. Yeah, that's cool. But you've got to do it in a way that doesn't screw over the people who have just paid thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy dollars for your game, and and bloody hell, and then they should totally not have things like bloody season passes. Um, I mean that shit's cancer. That is. Uh, uh, so yeah, you've got to you've got to protect your investment. Uh, but you know, I don't know what the answer for it is for because of DRM. I mean, yeah. pr- odds are your device is going to connect to the internet at some point. That's fine, but it doesn't need to be always on. Okay, or it needs to dial in for five minutes at the start and then 
drops your connection, you're ready to go. That's fine, because it can handle things. Oh, yeah, okay, well, I can't log in yet. We're loading everything up, ready to go. We've logged in for the whatever things to check we're okay. Right, Bosch, you're ready to go. But no, evidently needing to log in all at the same time is um, clearly the clearly the correct answer. Clearly. Returning to the Gram situation. So really, these people, it's like you just can't... It's a, it, no, this is not even something that uh, about satisfying them. Because this shit that doesn't in re- really bother them, doesn't really matter to them at all. Because, okay, so we played the new version, there are going to be servers for the old version, why the fuck do you care? And then maybe I think, because there, yeah, maybe it's a matter of pride, as you said, like, stop, you know, liking what I don't like. Because I don't think I need to remember, to remind people, that uh, once upon a time, I think uh, during the Burning Crusade height... Uh, uh, World of Warcraft had 10 million subscribers. Right now, it's uh, 1 million, I think. Yeah? Something like that. Something like that. Well, I mean... So, there is a chance that if they put the normal vanilla WoW back on again, there is going to be a lot of people coming back, and there are going to be a lot of people, maybe they're going to be bigger in number, or the people who like the new version. So what? Uh, do they fear that the new version of WoW is gonna go away? What the, or, or is it just like, no, the new version is better. Stop being such a mini heads and like what I like. Is is that it? Really? Maybe. 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 Uh, you, you, you never know with these people because the, the, the these people bitch about everything. I mean the. Um, Sorry, I just saw something quite random on there, um, which I just have to retweet. But that's another yeah, story. Uh, yeah. Last review I, I saw here for World of Warcraft, as of like well, mid last year, there were around 7 million. 7 million? I can hear you. Oh, you, you dropped out there, Eagle. Um, Sorry about that. I was uh, yeah. doing a quick uh, check up on here as of. Uh, Currently, well, last uh, review I have as of uh, mid-2015, they had about 7 million uh, subscribers for WoW. Well, that's... But it's not really... a huge... It, at the moment, it's not a huge drop, but understanding that a lot of people just... Uh, there's other games out there. There's uh, there's MOBAs, well, online battle arenas. Uh, there's StarCraft, all... And a lot of the time, it's like, uh, and I'm going to play a little bit of a devil's advocate for the people that are bitching, is when a lot of people are going to start playing vanilla, they're not going to have enough players to play the one, the full expense, full full frills, most up-to-date version. So up to a certain point, like, yeah, if if you're going to cater to the vanilla users... Cool, that's awesome. Yeah, but also, but but you know what? Also, remember that you want to keep uh, your core audience also involved. Core, but the problem is their core audience pretty much uh, went away. I think. I mean, yeah, a, a lot of people ended up not having um, time for. Um... Or this kind um, of stronghold shit. Yeah, I mean, there's there's only um, so much time uh, that uh, people can spend all, all, um, doing stuff on the day. Uh, yeah. you know, only so many hours on the day. You know, when people still have to work and whatever. Not everyone's a neat who uh, sits in the basement. You know, some of us have to leave the house and go to work. You know, it's a, yeah, I'd li- like like to be able to sit around watching DVDs, playing games all day. But you know what? They just can't. Uh, so about, about, yeah, maybe uh, Mr. White. Well, subscribe. Maybe well, maybe some of this is a grassroots, uh, uh, well, astroturf campaign from um, Blizzard to think. Well, if they do this, then they're not going to go for our current one, which we're charging them a hefty premium for because they're going to be playing another previous game and they've no on the diff thing. But you know, enough people on. Well, I. I, I, I I'm, I'm losing the plot on this one. Yeah, it's, it's okay. all. It's kind of low. It's kind of. Uh, I don't know. Uh, fuck fuck if I know. Sorry, lads. 
<laughs> okay, so anyway, uh, I guess uh, we can we can work with that but because be I want there is something I just saw on the feed on Twitter and I want to talk about it because this is so okay. Final thoughts on the war situations. Do you think uh, vanilla? So, so what do you think of the vanilla option and uh, what do you think of the, the tractors? Um, I think it's a good idea because it gives the public what they want and. You don't have to run it for very long. You say, look, we'll run it for six months, experiment, say, and six, twelve months, say, right, after this, if the if if it's costing us money, you know, it's not working out economically, we're going to shut it down again, you know, make sure everybody knows, so then people said, yes, we'd like this. You, know, you, you sell your minimum subscription for six months, and if it doesn't work out, then you know, no, no, no harm, no foul. People detracting it need to get a life. Um we need, need to stop being fun sponges. No, let people do what yeah. I want. Okay. You, uh, Eagle, what are your thoughts? Uh, pretty much the same. It's like, you know what? Give the opportunity to the players that want vanilla to play vanilla. There's, a, there's what, five, six expansions out, on out, and some people just want to have the old original experience. Let them. You know what? It's their money. And uh, if they if they only have enough time to just do the vanilla stuff, go right ahead, enjoy it for what it is. Don't uh, and for the detractors, you want know let them let the vanilla lovers have their vanilla. You're still gonna have the full experience with all your mounts, with all your all your experience on your newer and uh, your newer stages and your newer areas. You uh, <clears throat> you non vanilla lovers, go have fun with all the extra. Don't feel that because there's a vanilla server, you're missing out on. On the contrary, they're missing out on stuff, but they've decided, you know what, I don't want the full experience. I just want the taster. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe they're completely... You know, yeah, I agree. Might, maybe they're tired of being owned in the uh, PvP section mm -hmm. for people who are able to spend... Um, Hours no. on end uh, trying to level that mm. up, that shit up. Okay, yep. uh, my thoughts are pretty much the same. It's going to be just a fucking option. Just let people have that option. Because it doesn't, you know, take anything away from you. Just, it doesn't. It doesn't. So, call die tits. And let people live in peace. Now, for the thing I wanted to talk about, because we have to end this on a funny but disgusting note. Really. Have you ever heard of Dark Side Phil? No? Uh, the, Wait, name... Eh? Uh, the, 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 the name... Um... The SP, uh... basically. It, the, it came up in my Twitter feed earlier today, but yeah, I, so you know, but okay, bad guy. This guy. Uh, that's uh, all I know. Story sorry. Short, long story short, uh, is uh, is one of the worst uh, gamers I ever seen. Basically, he never learns. He always blames the game for any of his shortcomings. He never gets better. Never gets good. No matter what the fuck he plays at, he whines. I go, they they caught him jerking off on his face cam today. Oh, for fuck's sake, man! Yeah, on Twitter, uh, on Twitch. Uh, Pascal, yeah, he was on standby, he forgot to turn off the face cam, and they called him masturbating. Uh, well, there is this one quote from uh, from somebody on there saying, well, I always thought Dark Side Phil was a wanker, but I'm... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Evidence. Well, he, he can't... Hey, he won't be liable to say he, he is one. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh. Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. The, yeah, the, 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 yeah. There's even a Profanosaurus entry for this sort of thing. Really? Post it note over the yeah. Post it, post it note over the webcam. <laughs> uh, oh. let, let, let me grab the phone. Ah, uh, uh, wait. <laughs> yeah. It yeah. Is it? Come on. Oh, oh. I love those Profanosaurus quotes he sent us. There's yeah, so there's so there much go. gold. So I, I usually save but, up a good fifty to sixty but, for when I have when I'm having a bad day. Well, here yeah. we are. Yeah. Put a post-it over the webcam to take an elementary precaution when surfing the web in order to prevent other web internet users from inadvertently seeing you grappling with your joystick. <laughs> <laughs> and there is also the thing that 
there, there are people saying maybe this this on purpose to go viral. <laughs> viral like AIDS. Um, like, uh, <laughs> how pathetic do you have to be to do something like that? Uh, just <sighs> like, uh. Well, like, I, guys, yeah. guys, if I ever go down that kind of deep end, please shoot me in the head. Because I really don't deserve to... I lost all my class. No, 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 no. We're not going to shoot you. You're just going to smack you with a cricket mat. Oh, cricket bat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're going to go uh, shot on the dead on you. <laughs> no, I, I, I may go... I oh. may go young ones again. It's like, oh no, I missed both his legs as I smack him <laughs> in, the, in the groin. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, oh. He did ask to smack him in the head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When, when the when the wee head rules the big head, um, uh, as the Scots would say. Oh, you know. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. I mean, look, the, 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 there are times when you're... Um, when think, you are? Okay, th- th- that's incredibly erotic. Yeah. Oh, God, I've just popped one. But please. Ah, oh, was... Oh. But, uh, hey, at least it's in his own home. I, yeah. I, I heard a um, thing on the radio a few years back that apparently a large proportion, possibly even... More than fifty percent. The majority of porno- of internet pornography is yeah. consumed at work. Oh, really? Wow. And given what pornography is used for at work, really? Oh, for fuck's sake, people! Where, uh, like, uh, there is a I'm line. Like, there is a line to the bathroom. What the shit? I mean, uh, if, if if you like what you. No, it's, I'm not going to judge you for enjoying pornography, providing it's all properly legal and everyone knows what they were doing, what have you. Um, but do it in your own home. To me, pornography should be a private thing. I'm yeah, weird it's... and old-fashioned, and I apologise for that, but pornography is for home. Or yeah, especially if you work say, as or a the love hotel or stuff like that. Yeah, I, I mean, if you work at a blue-collar job, Oh fuck me! Are they going to rip the piss out of you? That's dangerous. You are never going to live it down. It's like you can imagine that. Like, oh, I was a, a trucker cracking one off or whatever. Oh, where's so and so? Oh, he's behind the shed uh, cracking one off. Nah. Oh, for fuck's sake! You ain't never going to live that shit down. Yeah. <sighs> pretty much. Um, wow. Yes. So um, that's that happened. So anything go? Anything else weird we have to talk about, or can we just uh, for any this? other business? I think uh, I think time for some any other business. Um, saw two films this week. Um, okay. I saw saw Captain America: The uh, Civil War, which yeah. I highly recommended, and you right. know it, it, it is very good. Um, it lives up to the hype. It All does right. very good. Uh, and and you know uh, and someone I saw from my Twitter feed someone said well I watched it earlier and some young teenage behind me I heard them say this is so awesome and then that is why Marvel are winning in the cinema thing and I also saw um, Green Room uh, the one where Captain Picard oh. uh, Patrick Stewart plays a neo fascist that's a oh. brutal film uh, that's good um, it's like a sort of slasher flick. Part, part slasher flick, part um, uh, sort of thriller, uh, horror thing going on. And it's got a fantastic last line of the film, uh, which I don't want to spoil. Uh, it's, it's, a, okay, okay. Uh, it, it's um, a young indie band um, are playing this uh, venue where it turns out to be uh, described as being um, boots and braces. Oh, skinheads, yeah, just play your older stuff, your, the heavier stuff. And uh, you, you should be all right. Get in, get out, and then they see something they shouldn't, and it goes to shit. Uh, there are some bits in there which are very good, and as a guy gets his arm really fucked up, and Ooh. then uh, so some bits which are quite and thing, um, which I can understand the logic of doing, but it kind of made me a little bit upsetting. It's like it, it's not it, for it's, everyone. Let's just it's not so. for everyone. Um, those of a weak stomach should 
maybe I'm wait till it's on uh, on uh, DVD or something when so they can they pause can it. Skip go go away. Yeah. What about you, Eagle? Anything to suggest, uh, internet or otherwise? Uh, nothing at the moment, honestly. Right now, I'm uh, just gearing up for uh, for my next uh, next work shift. I'm actually doing graveyard shifts uh, for the next hey. four months, so we might need to. Uh, yeah, to uh, schedule otherwise. Yeah, work scheduling. We might need to. Find out our new, our, our new uh, attack method for these podcasts. Yeah, same year because uh, I'm star- I'm starting to work uh, this month uh, in May, and uh, basically uh, I work in an airport, so there is no weekends in an airport. So I'm not always going to be free on Sundays, even in Sunday evenings. So we'll have to schedule shit better, differently, whatever. Okay, I guess that's all. Well, um... if anything, for any uh, any gamers out there. Uh, the uh, Golden Week sale for play- for the Sony PlayStation Store is still up. If you want to go get some good uh, anime video anime based video games, they've been uh, they can pretty good uh, thirty to fifty percent discount. No, I'm I'm just hoarding it out because I can. <laughs> no, I'm not getting paid by Sony. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, and um, also, okay. So this is the Tampo episode twenty three, and we'll see you next time, whenever that may be. Bye bye. Hi. Hello.